I was thinking that I will show you how to make a plexiglass binder. Here is the video, so let's get started. I will use an HPL plate, 6mm thick. You can find those plates also under the max plate or compact plate. For the base, I used the HPL plate as well. I cut the plate into 2 cm wide strips. I assemble it with M3 screws. Because I want the holes for screws and for threads at exactly specified location, I made stencils in which I insert the bashing and then drill through it. With a stencil, I drill holes for top plate as well. I repeat this a few times and the top plate is screwed up. The important thing is the location of the hinge. I will bend 3mm thick plexiglass, so I set the hinge so, that when the bending plate will be upright, it will be 3mm from the fixed plate. I insert a 3mm spacer and bring the bending plate close to it. For easier mount, the hinge was taped. For mounting the bending plate, I make 6mm spacers. Due to length of the plate, it hangs so I have to add reinforcements on both plates. For setting the bending angle, I installed the angle ruler. Pay attention that the rotating point is on the same line as the hinge center. For mounting the ruler, I cut another stencil, so I can mount the angle ruler at an exactly specific location. The rotating point is in an excellent position. On the angle ruler, I mount the magnet, which will hold the bending plate at the wanted slope. I mount the angle profile as a rectangular guide. For mounting the profile for the heater, I need support on one side. In the support plate, I need the screw without the head, so I cut it away. So I can mount on the bottom cable shoe, on the top resistance wire. I will use a 6x6mm U profile. On one side, I cut it at 45 degrees angle so I decrease the possibility of a short circuit and cut the thread into the profile. On the other side, I prepare a thread for fixing the string, because the resistance wire must be tense in the air. I make a screw without a head so that I screw it into the profile, send it, cut the notch with the Dremel, unscrew it out and use it in my profile. For connecting the heating wire, I need a screw terminal without plastic, so I unscrew the screws, take the plastic away and return the screws back. Then I sand it like before profile, cut the notch and use lower screws in the new screw terminal. I connect supply wire with resistance wire and build everything together into the profile. Then I mount the profile onto the base. I will mount the banana socket. The easiest way to connect my lab power supply. 
You can mount limit switch for turning off the heater when you rise the plate if you have one for suitable current, which I don't. On and off switch and of course the heater. Time to test. I turn on the power supply and set the limitation to 2 amperes per channel, 4 amperes together. For 40 cm long resistance wire, I need about 21 volts. I set the angle ruler to the desired angle. Turn on plexiglass bender. After a minute, I was able to bend plexiglass. I hope you find this video useful and you get the information that you need.